what is up YouTube it's your boy Luigi back at it again with another video if you already subscribed to the channel or if you've just been watching my videos already welcome back if you are new to the channel let me just introduce myself my name is Luigi I do sneaker reviews men's clothing basically everything men's fashion on the channel you will find but today we got another shoe to review yes sir yes sir we got another one today's gonna be part three to the series fresh kicks for under $100 you guys really seem to like the last two with the Vans the Golden Coast authentic and the Vans old school But today we got a part three. Yes third sneaker to the series. We got a pair of Nike Air Force ones you guys already know the deal if you already follow me on Instagram at underscore Luigi I posted these on my story I posted which one would you guys rather have me buy the Air Forces or the pair of Hirachis as you can already tell, I didn't buy the Hirachis, but I do plan on getting those very soon. Quick reason why I bought the Air Force Ones instead of the Hirachis, I've been kind of just feeling Air Forces lately. I, you know, I feel like recently on the channel, I've kind of been neglecting Nike, and I don't want to keep this channel specifically about just one sneaker brand. I know I've done Adidas, I've done Vans, but I feel like I've been neglecting Nike a little bit too much, and that hurts me because I really love Nike. I think they absolutely killed it this year. By the way, I still, do believe that Jerry Lorenzo has sneaker of the year the air fear of God one to me is probably sneaker of the year but that's for another video we're not gonna talk about that today but yeah I just kind of been feeling the Air Force vibe lately and I really wanted a pair of Air Forces and these just really caught my eye so I went to the Nike Soho store always a dope experience when I go to New York just in case you guys are unaware of the series if you guys just haven't checked out my last videos or like I said if you are new to the channel basically fresh kicks for under a hundred dollars a series where I showcase sneakers that are extremely dope just dope sneakers that you could find for under $100 because like I said so many times in other videos you don't need to spend a lot of money on sneakers to look fresh you can always ball on a budget man it's very possible I know I have a lot of hype sneakers in my collection but sometimes I do ball on a budget there's nothing wrong with that man and this is you know this is no exception the Air Force One definitely a great model so let's get into it right off the box you have a standard Nike Air Force One box Got the branding right here, straight down the middle. Just a simple box. Official colorway on these is the Air Force 107 LV8 style. Black gum, medium brown. I think Nike would have, I would I would have thought that Nike would have gave these a better colorway, but that's that's just the color on them. I, Nike, come on, man. You gotta come up with something clever. But retail for these bad boys was $100, but I got a discount. So I paid only $90 for these, so literally right at the budget. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yes, yes, these right here, man, are fire. So you got right here the Nike Air Force One in black and gum bottom. Yo, how can you not like these things, man? These things are so freaking sick. Look at these. I love the material on this and the accent on the, bl on the black uh, Nike Swish. The accent on the Nike Swish is really freaking dope. And of course, you slap a gum bottom on this. Oh, bro, like I said so many times before, you slap a gum bottom on sneakers, nine out of 10 times, I will buy it, hands down. I love gum bottoms. I don't know any sneakerhead that doesn't love gum bottoms. If you don't love gum bottoms, then you're just not a sneakers fan, point blank. Going right into the sneaker we got on the lateral side, we got the black canvas going all across the sneaker. Like I told, like I said before, I love the material that they used on this. I think the canvas on this just hits really well. I like how the black Nike swoosh just comes right across the sneaker. Really small detail, you know, like, like I said before, I'm really a small detail kind of guy. I don't really need anything really crazy on the sneaker, but just this canvas, man. This canvas print is so freaking dope. Same thing on the medial side of the sneaker. You got the same thing. You got the canvas, black material coming right across the sneaker, the black Nike swoosh. I believe this is done in a, in a, really soft leather I believe could be leather yeah pretty sure that this is leather coming across run so after you got the Nike Air straight on the back on the heel tab inside the sneaker you got your standard Nike Air just your standard insole but the number one important detail of the sneaker you already freaking know it is gonna be that freaking gum bottom man how can you not like gum bottoms on a sneaker especially on an Air Force these things are so freaking essential. I can honestly beat these. I can see myself honestly wearing these a lot, especially for the winter. These are these are a lot better than prime knit, a lot better than mesh. Like, you know, the snow won't go into these as much and it has that chunky, you know, midsole. So these are definitely a really good winter sneaker. If you're in the market for a really good 
you know, winter sneaker that you can beat up and just wear it throughout the winter. I really recommend the Nike Air Force One. On the sneaker, same thing, you got the canvas upper, you got your standard black laces. I really like that Nike kept the same color as the whole entire upper for the laces. If they would have just did black laces, I honestly wouldn't think that that would look too good. I mean, everyone has their own opinion, but I really like that they matched it with the whole entire upper. So a really good small detail for Nike. Basically put the Air Force Ones in the same category as Tim's. Timeless, they're never gonna go out of style and you could pretty much wear them anytime. Besides the summer, I wouldn't really recommend wearing Tim's in the summer, but these you could definitely wear them in spring, winter, fall, summer, anything, man. Like I said, I paid 90 bucks for these, man. I didn't really have to go too crazy on them and I just love them, I don't regret it. Really great purchase. Really love the small details on them from the gum bottom to the whole canvas upper to the black leather Nike swoosh on the side of the sneaker to the regular laces that match the whole entire upper. Just really dope. That's pretty much it for the quick little review on the Nike Air Force Ones. If you are new to the channel, subscribe. I do post content every single week. Uh, for my returning subscribers, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. Check out my last couple videos, the men's fall lookbook, Christmas video I did, Yeezy Cream V2 review, all the other videos that I basically have on my channel. I have 24 videos in total with this one making it 25. It's a lot of videos, a lot of time for you guys to check out. If you have some free time, check out all the other videos on my channel. I'm going to throw these guys on feet, show you guys how I style them, and that will be the end of the video. And that's pretty much it. I will catch you guys next time. Peace.